Got a backed up shower drain or bathroom sink drain? I'm going to show you how you can unplug it. Hey everybody, it's Ron from Ron's Basement. Thank you for joining me today. I am not your plumber. However, I do have extensive experience with backed up shower drains, bathtub drains, and bathroom sink drains. I don't know what they're called. There's another, another word for those, but bathroom sink drains. And I have come up with a great solution over years and years of research for clearing those drains when they start to get blocked up. Now, I'm not a plumber. So don't make any plumbing decisions based upon the information that I'm about to share with you today. Just my opinion, and I'm sharing with you what works for me. So if you have backed up drains in your bathrooms, it's probably because you have little girls or older girls that you live with. That happens to be my situation. And their hair, it's usually hair or and or soap scum that creates the, uh, the backups in the shower drains and the sink drains. Now, there's a couple ways you can deal with that. You can get rid of all the girls in your house. You can try all these different strainers, and I would recommend, especially on a shower drain, a good strainer to catch the hair as it goes down. Um, or you can call a plumber and spend $150, $200. Or you can do what I'm about to tell you, show you, and you can solve your problems, okay? Uh, so there's two things you, you can do. If you, and this is what I recommend, catch the problem before it gets to be too bad, meaning you start to notice the water backing up on the bat, uh, bottom of the bathtub or the shower pan. Uh, it's still draining, but it's backing up. And same thing with the sink. You need to attack it and attack it right away with this. Pop rocks. <laughs> Just kidding this product called Thrift. It's essentially Pop Rocks for your sink. It's like a crystal clean cleaner. Uh, I used to buy it here in St. Louis at a place called Henry Plumbing. They were bought out. I don't know if the new place sells it or not, but it was the only drain cleaning product that Henry Plumbing would sell at the time because they believed in it and they said it was the only thing that a real plumber would use outside of one of these. That's a snake to clean the drain. So this stuff works great. I buy it in bulk on Amazon. And uh, like I said, but you've got to use it before the drain completely backs up. Okay, so when you start noticing the, bank, the drain running slow, here's what you do. And there's a couple key things that you want to do when you're going to use this. First, run hot water, as hot a water as you, as you can get out of your tap or out of your shower or whatever. And let that run until that water starts to back up and drain slowly. And then, and this is what I've learned that's really key when you're using these drain cleaning type products, let that hot water that's backed up and is draining slowly, give it five or ten minutes, let it drain all the way through, because somewhere down your pipe, five or ten feet or two feet, wherever, there's a blockage, okay? But you want that water to get all the way through that blockage so that when you use this stuff, it's going to get right to the blockage, eat through it, and clean your drain out. And I'm going to tell you, it works. So what you do with this is you measure out one cup, get yourself a measuring cup, measure out one cup. I have a little milk carton that I kind of cut in half that I use as a funnel. I usually am using this either in the bathroom sinks or the bathroom shower drain. Pour this stuff and it's it looks like giant pop rocks. I don't know if you it looks like crystal. Pour that cup of that through your funnel into your drain. Then you run just enough hot water so that it dissolves. Now when I say just enough I would estimate that it's about maybe two or three cups of hot water you run, and you can hear it go boom, boom, boom. It starts to, you know, it doesn't shoot out of the drain. It does not smell. Okay, I, I, I did try that green gobbler stuff. I hated it. 
it made my house smell like King Kong farted in the house and it never really worked for getting the drain clean. Okay, I'm sorry Green Gobbler, I did not have a good experience with your product. Nonetheless, after you pour the crystals, the thrift, down the drain and add maybe two or three times the amount of water, it's going to go through that pipe, it's going to find, it's going to make its way directly to that clog, it's going to eat through it, and your problem will be solved. Now, honestly, sometimes I have to give it two or three treatments, um, but this stuff works. It's a great product. It's not cheap. I buy it on Amazon now. I think of a, a container like this that might help me clean, let's say three or four, do three or four drain cleanings, um, is going to cost you about 35 or $40, but you know, that's eight bucks a pop. That's better than spending all that money on a plumber or whatnot. Now, if that won't get it cleaned out, then yeah, you got to go to one of these. And these are no fun to work with. They're dirty. They're stinky. See? This one's brand new. So it doesn't, I wouldn't stick it on my nose if it went <laughs> down the old poop pipe, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, you have to go to that. To, to that. But if you are uh, smart, uh, and I know you are because you're watching my video, you'll get yourself some thrift. Keep it on stock when that drain gets slow. Watch this video. Uh, remember, let the hot water run. Then let the hot water drain all the way through so it gets all the way through wherever the blockage is. Then do your treatment. Hit it with some hot water. Oh yeah, after you hit it with the hot water and the stuff dissolves. And this is all clearly explained on the packaging as well. Uh, you wait about a minute and then you flush it with hot water. You full bore, baby. You let all, you turn the shower on, turn the sink on, whatever, and that washes it through. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from my video. I hope you're doing well, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.